Welcome to my advanced Tinkercad modeling instructional series. I've been using Tinkercad for almost 10 years and have taken it about as far as it can go before moving on to other CAD programs, such as Fusion 360 and Blender. But I still use Tinkercad to make some amazing models. In this episode, we're going to creatively use bits and pieces to fit your needs. Some shapes can be achieved by using basic shapes in creative ways. Let's get started. Let's say I wanted to make this shape, basically a beveled cylinder. Well, let's look at the basic tools in Tinkercad. Your basic geometry is a cylinder. We've got a, we've got a sphere. We have a cube. Um, I can come over here to the cylinder, maximize its sides, make it bigger so we can get in here. Now, I can't really slope the sides. I can a little bit. I've got some finite control here to bevel the edges, increase the segments, but I can't, I mean, that's sort of the shape I'm looking for right here, but it's not tall enough. Um, I can try to play with this, but, you know, it's not really going to work out that great. So what I've got, what tools do we have here? I've got a cone. We could make this cone work. You wouldn't think by looking at this that you can make this that beveled cylinder, but you can. Let me show you how. We're going to enlarge it to something reasonably sized. So if I'm looking just at a piece of this cone, just from like here to here, that's the shape I want. But I need to exaggerate this a little bit more so I've got less of a slope. Okay, so maybe, you know, maybe down here at the base where it slopes less. I can choose just the bottom part of this cone. So let's go ahead and grab that. I'm going to grab a subtractive cube. And I'm going to come down here, and yeah, I can see my shape right here. Just that slight... Well, you know, I think I might want to grab it maybe a little bit higher up. Maybe from here to here is the shape I want, or maybe just a little bit more. So, so I want that piece that's right inside there. So I'm going to take the cube, I'm going to duplicate it, I'm going to bring it down, come in here, and there. That's about what I want. I want it a little bit more exaggerated. So I'm going to give. It, I'm going to grab a little bit more of that slope. And let's combine these. Make sure I've got it. Yep, I've got it all. All right, I'm liking that. So I exaggerated. I took more than I wanted, and I'm going to just shrink it down. That's almost exactly what I want. Oops. This shape right here. Yeah, something like that. This is the hole for the Star Wars escape pod. As you can see, this was made using cones. Cones, cylinders, and a couple subtractive processes, but, um, let me see, can I take this one apart? I don't think I can take these apart completely here. No, but you can see this is the same exact technique. There's a cylinder here as the trench. There's Cylinders turn sideways with a sphere cut out here. There is just different parts of a cone flipped upside down here. Another piece here. This is also a cone here, a cylinder. It's all, it's, I should be calling this video the power of the cone because you can do so much with it. I mean, that's, this is all cones. There's one more thing I want to show you. These are really unusual shapes here. These are necks to the, the ATST project of mine. So these are really unusual shapes. 
Again, this video, the power of the cone. This, these were made with cylinders and the parabolic cone. Check this guy out. Actually, I'm gonna just start something fresh over here. Okay, the parabolic cone, you can do a hell of a lot with this. Make a duplicate of this, I'm gonna bring it up. Let's just make a crazy shape here. Let's turn this one rotation and let's maybe bring uh, let's flatten the bottom one out this is just the beginning of this watch this this is crazy so let's bring I'm gonna make a duplicate of this and bring it up and let's Mate this to the bottom of him. It's kind of like an acorn shape. And then I'm going to do something weird here. I'm going to take another instance of this. And they've got these tools over here. This is a fairly new tool. But I've got this. I can play with its radius. I could play with the, this. Whoa. I can play with its height. Man, that is a really, really cool tool. I mean, I can see this being so useful. This is not This is not exactly how I made those necks I was about to show you. I'm just kind of learning this right now, but that's an interesting thing right there. Look at this, look at this guy. And the sky is the limit with these parabolic cones. I'm going to duplicate him. Flip him upside down again. I'm going to change him to a different color. Make him join up here. Yeah, that is a, that is a really cool tool. Let's bring a cylinder in. Let's align everything together. Let's take this cylinder, bring it up, reduce it. I mean, just that fast, that is a really weird organic thing using another cone, the parabolic cone. So sky is the limit, you guys. Just get creative with the uh, with the basic tools you have. I'm really happy to bring this tutorial to you. If you find these tutorials helpful, consider hitting the like and subscribe button and hit the bell icon to be notified when future content goes live. Thanks for watching.